Well, probably won't be that big of it. So it's the fifth pick tiny. I'm surprised he got this far. This hero has been targeted in both the first and second band phases, and for good reason, I think. The and it's funny because Dragonite wants to push your tower, but actually you can't do that against Pugna. You walk up the hill, you're gonna get decrypted into a blast, and you lose half your health every time. If he will snag the bounty room, but it may cost him his life as he is going to use the purification. Fear's got another poison attack in two. He will use it. And then meanwhile, Faith will get first blood onto crit in the top. Of getting absolute free farm with tree grab. He is skilled at the avalanche tree grab. And look at this two. rotation. Furion comes up to the top lane. Oh, the Rage will go, the cast will bounce, but it does nothing. And now, actually, it's going to be Faith is the one that's in trouble. He will pop the Maldic. Misery's still going to work. They get the Burrow Strike off. Faith is low. The Avalanche comes in. Faith will auto attack. It will be a one for one trade, but Misery does get dropped down first. And that's uh, laners against somebody like an Omni Knight. Yeah, perhaps the Sand King movement would be able to tip the scales in their favor, but with no level, Sand King's not even going to bother. Not worth it at this point. And he actually TP's up top, but... They know he's here. KP is getting run down in the bottom lane. He still has his purification. He's trying to pull the creep back. He, I think, is going to maybe try for a TP. I think he knows he's dead, actually. He's Meanwhile, totally dead. Kaka gets the kill on Decrit in the top lane. He'll have time to catch up. No big deal. Yeah, I mean, the main goal of Fear, and I think Sumail in this game, will be to make things happen on the map. Once this Viper gets level 6, perhaps. Once Sumail has enough Nether Blast levels to try to take some towers. Same thing could be said for S Triple C though. He's gonna be have his level six soon. He has Taka coming in. They have the Burrow Strike. They will use it. He has mangoes and tangos to work with, but no salve, no fairy fire to help him survive. Misery's TP is too little, too late, but he'll get some experience in the mid lane, which I sort I, I suppose is some sort of consolation. But down bottom, Fear is chasing KP, who doesn't. Look the pressure is mounting top. in the top lane as well. Yeah. Double trance for Misery. Nature's Prophet, that's what he can do in the early stages of this game. The Burrow Strike will come out, they've got the Dragon Tail in the mid lane, the Maledict, the co Coconut flying through, and Sumail in some trouble. He does have the Life Drain, he's looking for S Triple C, he's getting low, I don't know if it's going to be enough to get the kill, the Illusion's doing some work too. But there's the Burrow Strike, and Sumail finally gets turned around on the Fairy Fire, the last Nether Blast, but it won't save his life. Faith trying to get chased by EG, but they're too little too late with Crit, and Misery showing up, and S Triple C still... And this is what you were worried about when they did grab it so early into the game. Yep. And now they will turn this into another tower push. The break is there. The Viper Strike and KP is getting run down. But he does repel himself in time. Still in trouble. He is a TP scroll. I don't know if he's going to be able to use it. But Moogie knows that the dive is coming. The Fade Bolt. They also get that one auto attack off from Fear. And now Moogie's going to go from the next. tower. There's the Nether Toxin. They should have enough lockdown with Fear's auto attacks. But maybe not. They might be able to get away with more heroes coming in from Newbie. They're looking to turn this around. Taka is here. He's got the Burrow Strike. Killing Fear would be huge. They've got Moogie coming in. The Dragon Tail from S Triple C. And they will secure the kill. The Viper will get dropped. And yes, they did bring it. It's not going to be there in time. The GA coming in. KP trying to survive in any way possible. He actually has no mana for another purification. Then another blast dead. will come in, and that will secure the kill. GA was used for nothing for KP. Now, aggressively. There you have a uh, Pugna. We have the wagon in. The Treants are coming, but S Triple C is trying to turn this around. Burrow Strike. It's only under crit. The epicenter will go. The Dragon Tail is there. The purification comes out, and crit will fall. Can they get more? Sumail getting chased down. Kaka, they've got the urn. Now the Nether Blast coming in, but the Death Ward and Faith will secure that kill onto Sumail. The Blink Initiation might have been what they've been lacking as Moogie's trying to get one, too, and Moogie's very close. The Burrow Strike will come out. They have Sumail coming in. They drop the Nether Blast. Crit. With the lift, the fade bolt, the breathe fire, which was stolen as the D trap is there. That, that's going to get him back into the game. But instead, Newbie will head towards the north. They're going to find Crit, a target that they really don't want. But they will oh, find man. it until comes out. They've got the Dragon Tail, they've got the Burrow Strike, they've got the breathe fire, and Crit will fall as the Doss finishes him off. Yep. Crit's teammates thanking him for that one. Heroes. But if they have Blink, if they have Shadow Blade, it's a lot harder for Arteezy to survive a two or three man gank. Exactly. Viper Strike bottom, KP will purify himself, and now the TP's coming, and now they're looking for this Viper, the DK is there, he's got the Dragon Tail, he has the Elder Dragon Form, he will pop it, they get off the Repel, as Triple C is still going with the Breathe Fire, they've gotten the kill, Misery gets cocked on the back lines, but Fear will still drop, and that is going to be the Moogie Tiny picking up the last hit. Newbie are online, Mott. They have looking for any key pickoffs, trying to make some moves on towers, but they can't find a pickoff, so they just run down mid. And S Triple C will get some pressure onto the tier one. Crit was looking for a lift. He does have it. He's got the Burrow Strike as well. The Fade Bolt comes in first. They have the Shadow Blade. They need detection. They drop the sentry down, so they have the vision. The open wounds comes in. I don't know if they have dust. If they've already used it, it looks like they didn't. And S Triple C also gets repelled, and that will keep him alive. Even with KP not having the most farm, he still has a pretty big impact. The Viper Strike coming in, though. The Viper is here. He's already used the poison attack along with the Viper Strike. It's a lot of damage to the break coming in. The Fade Bolt, they zap him down. Zumail was there as well with the Decrep Nether Blast. More than enough damage to bring this DK to his knees, and now they will pressure another Tier 2 tower. This one in that fight, still only level 3 repel for KP, and EG are trying to put some pressure and finish this game early. They have the Tier 3 damage coming in, the Nether Blast will go. 
There is no glyph for the Dire. Mugi getting open wounded. RTZ has the Radiance. The Radiance burn is going. RTZ still pretty tanky. He's got the Infest to worry about as well. The Viper Strike coming in from Fear. Now on to Faith, who will get dropped Big down Goody. Epi set up from Kaka doing some work for the Life Drain. The Nether Blast, they turn it right around. They get the kill. It's three dead for Newbie. SCCC has finally respawned, but they are working on the racks at this point. And it's just going to be a cup for Nether Blast to get this full set of racks down. Is this a repeat? Are we watching a replay? EG, it seems that they might have Newbie's number at this point. They are about to take it the first set of racks, but it's only the first set of racks. Yes, it is a 7k lead. It is. Could do so much against the opposing fours. You hit so hard with poison attack, even with treads. You have level 2 Viper Strike. He's about to have an Aghanims, but now they're going to find a triple C with Shadow Bladed in. There's the Repel coming out. There's the Burrow Strike, but it's only on the crit. Crit will fall. Looks like, no, the Sandstorm comes in. He survives, but not for long. Mookie will clip him down. He will buy back and try to get into the fray. Misery, the Sprout is up. Mookie's low, and so too is Kaka. The Life Drain comes out. The Spell Steal is there. The Burrow Strike will keep him alive momentarily, but it's too dead for Newbie, and now they're looking for more for EG. It's three as KP gets dropped down, and EG... And now the high ground pressure will come, and it's so non-committal, Brax. They have the Nether Blast, they have the Viper who can walk in and out. That's right. This lineup and their way of sieging forces Newbie to engage onto them. EG don't have to dive, they can just sit here, zone, look at Lifestyle's position. Good Burrow, it's on to four. Can they find the follow-up though? Kok is getting low, the mech keeping them alive. EG are all fine. And RTZ looking to turn around, looking for Mookie. They're all on the run as Triple C. They've got the Guardian Angel. They will at least push EG back for now. The Infest out. RTZ looking for space, but there's the Dragon Tail. Now they jump back in. They want RTZ, but he's got the Aegis, the Viper Strike, the Nether Blast. It's a lot of damage. The toss back. RTZ still going to work on S Triple C, getting run down, but the Repel will keep him alive. And now they go back to work on this bottom set of racks, and it's about to be Two. That is a lot of newbie spells going to waste. They can't quite find anything. The burst strike is still going. The epicenter was used. The guardian angel not finding much work for newbie. They keep everyone alive, yes, but they lose the buildings. And now they might lose more. S Triple C is broken. He's got the Viper Strike. That is GG. Another quick victory for evil geniuses against newbie. 23 minutes in. Woo! Man, we just hit a point where. It was night and day when it came to team fights, right? Life source got radiance. Oh, I'm just gonna.